Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for December 3rd, 2019. Well, my goodness, we had an eventful day yesterday after a disappointing manufacturing uh, note um, in the economic calendar, we kind of started moving lower and then we added pressure to that with concerns over US China trade and the new potential threats of tariffs against France that could be as much as 100% in retaliation to the new digital tax that they have passed. So an eventful day uh, to be sure. There was also um, the, uh, the idea floated that tariffs on steel and aluminum may be back for Argentina and Brazil. Um, creating uh, even more pressure to the downside. Then this morning, early morning, our futures were kind of pointing to a positiveness. Um, almost all night they were looking positive here in the U.S. And then the president came out and made mention that the U.S. China trade deal. Um, it may be better to wait until after the 2020 elections, and that has sent uh, futures substantially lower here this morning. In fact, they're getting um, more pain as we go along here this morning. Uh, just a few minute, moments ago, they were only down um, around 100 points. Now they're down. Dow futures are down about 160. So a little bit of follow through pain. Now, if you remember yesterday, I suggested being careful, watching carefully for the possibility of a pop and drop. That's where we gap up in the morning, but we find no buyers, we only find sellers. And it seemed logical to me to be thinking about that yesterday with the uncertainty in the market. Um, it really turned out to be kind of a a bull trap um, overall. Now this morning we're pushing down here as you can see futures are looking for a lower open and unfortunately if we open all the way down here if the bulls don't fight back here soon we may actually lose this level of support right through this chart right here. That could be a bad thing if we lose that level of support that means we may have to seek new supports down into this area. Now, as bad as that may seem, and, and as, may, as much as it may seem that the world is coming to an end for some folks because we haven't seen a bearish market in a while, please keep in mind that that would not necessarily be a major technical damager for the chart. We'd still be holding above our 50-day moving average if that were to occur. Certainly a painful sell-off, but remember, pullbacks like this, may set up bullish opportunities. So keep that in mind. Um, a lot of times we look at a sell-off as just being all negative, all, all bearish, but it's those pullbacks that give us opportunity to buy good quality stock at lower prices. So keep that in mind. It may actually set up a bullish scenario for us, but we may be creating a little technical damage here today that could require a little bit of time. It won't be, won't likely be, you know, pushed down and bounce straight back up. We may have to linger around down here for a little while, consolidating uh, this move as this uncertainty on on trade continues to swirl around. So, kind of keep that in mind. I don't know that this is. Uh, terribly, terribly bearish just yet, but there certainly is concern and we'll need to watch this pretty closely. So keep that in mind. We were getting that reversal back to down toward that 200 day moving or 550 day moving average and um, allowing those averages to catch up may actually turn out to be bullish. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY also um, reversing pretty hard here and as you can see um, in the chart we're we could depending on how you draw the trend we could have broken that trend yesterday but i kept 
uh, bringing up the fact that we may hold this level of support right in here. And you can see we're gapping down right into that level this morning. So we'll wanna watch that pretty closely. If we gap down, if we hold that support right there, we could be in pretty good shape overall. Remember, bouncing off of support is exactly where we want to be. And overall here on our 50-day moving average, um, we still haven't really created any technical damage. This is just a a good solid pullback, which is necessary sometimes for the market to just kind of clear its throat and um, reset itself. So watch that carefully right in uh, that area. Um, let's take a look at the Qs. The QQQ had a little bit better day yesterday, bouncing back toward the end of the day, lift getting a little bit more of a lift than the other indexes. But you can see we're just kind of hanging on, depending on how you draw that trend, kind of hanging on to that upper trend. And again, I think we're in good shape as long as we're able to hold on to a level of support right in here. And you can see we're gapping down into that level uh, so far this morning. So hopefully we will find some support in here, bounce off of there. Um, we'll have to wait and see if there's follow through beyond that point, if the news continues to deteriorate then we really could start to establish some technical damage um, in these index charts. So let's watch that close. IWM, IWM um, certainly not a, a happy day yesterday, but I gotta say overall, really not a bad situation when you take a look at the technicals of the chart. We're still holding above our big downtrend. We're still holding above um, a very important support. And yesterday's pullback really is just a test of some of that support. And this morning's gap down, as you can see, isn't that severe here in IWM. May just be testing that support area in the chart. So IWM looking pretty decent overall. And if we can hold on to a trend here, there may actually be buying opportunities on this pullback. So keep that in mind, that relentless bull uh, finally catching a little bit of pullback and that sometimes sets up new opportunity to buy. So watch that carefully. One of the things we have to do as traders is we have to avoid that emotional response of, oh my gosh, the world's coming to an end, or this is very, very typical market price action. Now, it's unfortunate that it's being fueled by political events, and, and that is a little bit different. Those political events are certainly creating quite a lot of volatility and harm to folks. But please keep in mind, um, this ebb and flow is very, very common in price action. So don't, don't get too worked up about it just yet. Just be very focused on price action. Focus in on those charts. Wait and see whether or not there's an opportunity that will present itself for uh, potentially picking up um, that, um, that great opportunity to uh, catch the resumption of the trend back up if that does in fact present itself. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, I have been mentioning over and over and over uh, my concern that the VIX may be showing some complacency and talked about this level down in here, how quickly we can respond higher um, on the VIX when that complacency does um, exist. And you can see that happened yesterday and this morning. Well, we went from, you know, down here where we were running into uh, 11 and 10 handles up here to nearly 15 handles yesterday. And that is likely to spike even higher today. Now, the critical point will be, I think, and I could be wrong on this, is if we break above this resistance level here in the chart, if I pull that back, you can see there's this price resistance level. If we break above that, and I think we're likely to do that this morning, break above that, um, then we start to threaten this downtrend right here and that possibility that any rest or pullback into here could um, continue to elevate that fear level in the market, elevate that volatility. So be a little bit careful. For option traders, this is very important as well because that implied volatility is coming up pretty sharply. That's gonna change all the prices of options and actually increase risk 
in those trades. So kind of keep that in mind that volatility um, is really starting to, to raise its ugly head again. And if we don't settle down, if there's not news somehow that settles this back down and, and we push back lower, well, this could get um, pretty brutal because we've seen these big fear spikes, how far and how fast they can really go up. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. Now this is where we might find a little bit of hope in the sense that we are pushing down pretty sharply here. And notice we went from our uh, bearish reversal zone almost to the penny targeted up in here where we went from our bearish reversal zone and we completely are uh, shifting lower here to our bullish potential reversal zone and as I speak the futures continue to do deteriorate we're now down 190 points in the Dow futures and if that is the case we're going to be pushing right down in here into these very low levels of T2120 now that doesn't mean that we necessarily have to just bounce straight back up notice that we've had periods of time where we bounce around down here for a little while that we can exist down here for a little while and if the news continues to remain bearish that can stay um, you know pretty consistent down in here but if we if we push down in here that gives us plenty of opportunity to see oversold conditions in the market and in charts and may give us that opportunity for that bounce back higher so let's watch that pretty closely um, overall okay so even though there's fear here even though there's panic um, there may be a little bit of technical damage coming in the chart all is not lost let's focus on the price action try to remove that emotion that you might be feeling this morning the gloom and doom and just focus in on price that quiet calm focus to price action is what makes successful traders not the constantly swinging back and forth in that emotional response to um, to a market like this so keep that in mind calm quiet focus watch that price action for those opportunities that may present themselves let's take a look at our economic calendar today and see if there's anything on there that could potentially affect uh, the market um, and, and to be honest there's not much on the calendar today to do that we have that motor vehicle a number that was out this um, comes out here this morning um, not m likely to move the market at all uh, motor vehicle sales it can possibly but unlikely to move the market unless there's some kind of a major major surprise there and as you can see nothing else really here on that calendar to cause us too much trouble on our earnings calendar today we only have about 20 companies reporting earnings but we do have some notable reports that we'll want to keep an eye on um, for example we have um, azo azo reporting earnings this morning uh, well i'm not sure I think they report this afternoon. I'm not 100% sure if they report this morning, but let's keep an eye on AZO, um, C-O-N-N um, reporting today, uh, Marvel reporting today. Looks like Marvel has missed and is moving lower. Uh, w Day is another company reporting today so a few things that could move the market around a little bit we'll want to watch that pretty closely also crm looks like crm gapping lower on its news this morning kind of a miss apparently on crm so kind of keep that in mind um when the market starts selling off like this oftentimes it's very very difficult for the market to find that good news that inspiration so um, kind of piles on and that may be the case this morning that may be why the futures are continuing to show that bearishness now bouncing back up just slightly we're only down 179 points in the Dow futures so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a great day in trading and and I know that markets like this you know guy says a great day in trading when we're looking at futures like this can be pretty harsh and pretty um 
Yeah, please, right? Um, and I understand that. But remember, the market doesn't care whether you make money or lose money. So what we have to do is maintain our emotional uh, context here. We have to stay in control of that. Just focus in on that price action. Big moves like this do set up opportunities. So keep that in mind and don't let um, the emotion of the day uh, cloud your decision making uh, for your business. Be very, very focused in that price action. So it can actually be a good day um, overall, uh, depending on how you respond and react to uh, this market. So with that, um, I want to wish you all that great day. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Remember, the purpose of these videos are not to predict anything. They're to really look at the price action and the technicals of the charts and try to um, envision how we want to approach the market for today. It's, it's that help that aid to remove that emotion from the day just focusing in on price action just just imagine just imagine this gap down open find some price support in here and then the bulls start to pick this back up that may actually trigger an opportunity um, in the market so just kind of keep those things in mind as bearish as this might appear this morning there may still be opportunity um, you know either bullishly or bearishly in the market just stay focused to price and remove that emotion and if you find these videos helpful please do me a favor click that um, thumbs up button and leave a brief comment um, those comments help an awful lot and um, help to continue to keep this channel growing. So thank you very much for everyone who does take the time to, to, to do that. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Now, I got to tell you, there were a lot of stocks that took some pretty substantial technical damage yesterday overall. And so there are going to be fewer stocks that I'm going to point out, particularly in a volatile market like this. So just keep that in mind that we, um, we could see... Um, really good stocks reversing um, in a market like this. So just pay attention to that. Now, a couple things that I want to point out um, that really suffered some damage yesterday. Costco. Costco really suffered some damage yesterday, uh, breaking this bigger uptrend. Now, what we'll want to watch here in Costco is any rally back now. We have actually created that lower high right in here. Any rally back, any bounce back up could actually set up that short trade. So keep that in mind. Costco now looking pretty ugly here overall. If we take a look at charts like um, Home Depot, Home Depot definitely set up that short trade here. Home Depot breaking down, breaking through this support here in the chart, rallying back to test that to, as resistance and selling on down. So if we start breaking down through this level of support here in Home Depot, and it looks like we could do that this morning, then there may be more significant downside here in Home Depot take a look at Cisco. Now, Cisco set up yesterday as a short trade. It's been teasing for a while, moving in this downtrend in the chart. And we gap down on uh, that um, earnings miss. You can see there's some resistance right in here. We've come back up and challenged that a few times, consolidated that move. And now we're starting to look lower here um, in the market or on, in Cisco. And you can see gapping down this morning, um, sending us lower. So if we drift on below this area, there could be some substantial move lower here yet on Cisco. Keep that in mind for a possible short. A place you may find some um, relief to all this is looking at some of the defensive sector stocks. Take a look at Coca-Cola yesterday. Coca-Cola actually rallying nicely yesterday. We've moved 
right back up to this downtrend resistance, but we've moved up in a very positive way, holding these support levels. And after that push down yesterday, Coke really rallying back pretty pretty soundly yesterday, nice and strong. So we'll want to watch that if that pops on through here and holds above that downtrend. There may be opportunities setting up here in Coca-Cola and a nice little trend. So keep that in mind. Look to some of those defensive sector areas for maybe some hope, some defense um, in a market like this when we have kind of everything looking pretty uh, pretty darn ugly. Um, stocks like MDLZ. MDLZ had a nice rally back up yesterday and maybe starting a trend. Once again, we have this downtrend in play. So we'll have to kind of keep an eye on that. And it depends on how you draw that. We may be trying to challenge that right now. But as you can see, that was a nice bullish day today. Some of those defensive sector stocks trying to rebound back. We also had um, some rebound in some of the precious metals yesterday. Uh, GLD, GLD trying to hold some support here overall. Bullish candle there um, yesterday, and as you can see, still fighting a trend overall, a downtrend here in the chart. But if we can hold some support in here, there may be some opportunities setting up here if we're going to remain bearish in the market. So there are plenty of places to look for trades. We just have to uh, clearly think about um, the market, looking for those opportunities that uh, may be there. Take a look at XLP. This is the last I'm going to talk about this morning, XLP, uh, that consumer staples, if you want something that has a little bit more of a um, uh, ETF fill without the high volatility of individual stocks, take a look at XLP. XLP breaking through some resistance, nice bullish move yesterday as those consumer staples, folks start to rush toward those looking for a little bit of safety and some dividend yield. So keep that in mind. With that, everyone, I want to wish you all the very best today. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Try to remain um, level-headed. Try to remove that emotion from the day and just be focused in on the chart. There's nothing wrong with a pullback. A pullback that holds in an upward trend can be nothing more than a buying opportunity. All right, everyone take care. Have a great day and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.